there was their mother and his son. The son's name was Jeev. The mother was a devout Catholic. She was going to the local church every day and she will attend the mass and they will be there praying for nearly two hours or three hours. This boy was a very beautiful boy. Not beautiful, beautiful. He knows his duty. He goes along with her. He will not enter the premises of the church. He will be outside. Amma, you go and come back. Take three hours. Doesn't matter. I'll be waiting. He will never go inside. So the mother is to go and come back. So every day in their life for 20 years, this is not happening. One day his mother was in death bed. She called it Jim. Jim. I want a small favor from you when I die. Would you like to give me that favor? Mother, I will, I will give you my life. What are you talking? What do you want? <coughs> she said, when I am gone, when all the crowd is gone from the church, and it was 11 o'clock, 11 o'clock exactly go daily to the church. Nobody will be there. You just go inside. You will see. The next to the cross, behind is the, the our Lord Jesus. You just go there and just tell him inside your mind, Jesus, this is Jim, and come back. You do nothing else. You need not do any prayers. You need not be and bend at knees. Nothing at all. This is what you do. Okay, mommy. Every day he will go at 11 o'clock, stand there for about five minutes. And he will tell Jesus, this is Jim. At exactly 11 o'clock he will go there. And the priest thought, why should this fellow come? All these years he has never entered. Perhaps he wants to steal our silver candlesticks or something like that. But he found he was not touching anything. He was just doing some prayer for two minutes and he was gone. And when they came, the mother went away. The mother had departed to the other world. He was alone. He had a lot of land to look after. So he had a bulldozer to plow. And some parts had gone bad. He has to go to the nearest city to purchase them. He has never gone to a city. Anyway, he managed to take that part and go to the city. And he found there was a maze of cars and a maze of taxis, buses and uh, uh, cycles. He didn't know what to do. He was in between sometimes. And, and at some time in the day, at about 9.30 in the morning or 10 o'clock, he was caught. He got a bad accident from one side of the lorry, from another side of the bus. He just smacked him. He had multiple ortho problems, multiple breakage of bones. <coughs> and he fell unconscious. Some people took him to the nearest hospital. That hospital was called the Ortho Center for Multiple Injuries. It was a special one for them. It was a private hospital. There was only one bed available, number 50. It was given that. It was there. And the next day morning, the one doctor was to come on visit to see all the pee patients and ask them how are they and all. And no doctor would come because the moment he comes, all the chance would fall on him. Hey, what sort of hospital you are running? The uh, uh, your uh, nurse was not available at all. I couldn't get any water at all. So many things and then I am having so much of pain. What we will not do? What is your medical qualification? You cannot take away this pain of mine. 